Yeah, you're not giving me a good reason to not just straight up kill you. But you started by attacking me. Just saying. Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Our show today is Kingdoms and Friends, where we play EDH with other creators from across the community. Today's game is a special one because we have Adam and Dana Fisher, who are father and daughter, and we also have the debut of my sister and one of our editors here at Kingdoms, Marie. Although she does edit our videos, this is only her third time ever playing Magic or EDH, so make sure to be kind. Our guests today will both be at the Magic Summit, which will be in Salt Lake City, Utah, on November 11th to the 13th. Our main event is a Brothers War pre-release, where the winner takes home a Black Lotus, and there are a ton more prizes too. We have Modern Legacy and Pioneer 5Ks, a huge Commander Arena where you can play with icons and creators from across our community. We will be showcasing Brandon Sanderson's Vintage Cube. We also have tons of vendors, artists, panels, a VIP lounge, an art gallery, and so much more. Check it all out at mtgsummit.com and make sure if you're looking for a VIP pass you get one soon because we're about sold out. Lastly, remember to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell because sometimes YouTube just hides us. You know, we're, we're a special treasure in the rough, but or a diamond in the rough even, but we want people to know about these games and to see them. So uh, make sure to hit that notification bell too. And let's jump into the game. Fisher. I am known as a young person in the Magic the Gathering community. I'm also a cosplayer. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook at Dana Fisher MTG. My dad and I uh, stream on our family Twitch channel, Fisher Magic, every Mondays and Saturdays at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. We just have fun. We play arena sometimes. We'll do some other stuff. And I definitely enjoy teasing my dad through it. So I'm playing Azuri Renegade Leader as my commander. The goal of it, get a bunch of elves, get a bunch of mana, make the elves big, and attack with the elves. Pretty simple. I am Carlos. Um, excited to have the Fishers here. And then I'm playing Tovalar. Uh, this is my werewolf deck. It does have one combo. It, it's an attack-based uh, deck with, with werewolves. The one combo is with Aggravated Assault. So if I can get out Aggravated Assault and either the Bear Umbra or the uh, Sword of Feast and Famine and nobody can block me, you know, and I have enough lands, then it's uh, all the attacks. Um, other than that, it's just playing a bunch of werewolves and, and swinging and trying to do some combat damage. Hi, I'm Marie. I am one of the editors of the channel. I am playing Alayla, Artful Provocateur. She's gonna make a bunch of fairies and hopefully take everyone out. <laughs> my name's Adam, uh, in the magic community known as Dana's dad. I have uh, my own history actually with magic. I, I started playing during Revised in 94. I was on the uh, Pro Tour a little bit in 2002, 2003, but then uh, took a break, uh, a long break, but then got back into it when uh, you know, my daughters, uh, I have an older daughter, uh, Sadie as well, who's a few years older than Dana, when they learned how to play. Um, and now I play with Dana, often play, you know, like watching her, coaching her, although now it's more collaborative than uh, pure coaching, but it's a little different playing on my own here in addition to Dana. So that'll be a fun experience. You also um, get beaten by me. You can try. Um, <laughs> And uh, my commander is uh, Rin and Sari. So Rin and Sari are the dog and cat, you know, combo. And basically looking to get a bunch of dogs and cats into play. And then it can do kind of, you know, damage and, and kill other things with them or just, you know, attack for a whole lot from getting all those tokens. And actually a quick background is this was, um, you know, Dana and I in my first commander, non-budget commander deck built from scratch. We built oh. some budget ones before and all that, but this was the first non-budget one that we, and we built it together. Uh, from scratch just a few months ago, actually. Awesome. Um, so she has mixed feelings about me playing it against mm -hmm. her. Yeah, but, uh, it's technically my deck. Uh -huh. and, uh, but I couldn't say no to the elves, especially after we went through updating it. Love it. Well, yeah, we're excited to have some tribal battles, family tribal battles going on here. And uh, with that, uh, we'll jump into the game. So take us away. Draw. 
I'll play a forest and I'll play an essence warden. So whenever another creature enters, I gain a life. Go ahead. Nice turn one there, Dana. Okay, my turn. Draw for turn. I think I'm just doing a command tower and pass. Draw for turn. I'll just play a swamp and pass. Draw for turn. We'll also do a command tower and uh, pass. No extra life, at least. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, forest, yes. not yet. Leaf crime visionary, gain a life. Dad, I'll attack you for two, because why not? Oh, is that a, uh -huh. is that a, uh, is. a lord? So other elves I control get plus one, plus one. And whenever I cast an elf spell, I may pay an extra green mana. If I do, I draw a card. Um, I need to try and kill it fast. Yeah. My turn. Yep. Okay, draw for turn. I'm just going to keep it on the spirit of... The forest and elves and everything. And I'm going to play a Kenris transformation on that elf there, uh, Dana. It's a 3-3 three, three elf. Yeah, you know, just... Uh, it's been upgraded. Yeah, exactly. I've only... Dana, doing, you should thank him. Doing you a favor there. I'll draw <laughs> from the Kenris uh, transformation and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play planes. Play a metallic mimic. Yep. Um, Gain a life. So I'll do fairies and pass a turn. All right. Draw. I'm going to play a planes. I'll tap two mana and I'll cast Farseek, getting a stomping ground. And then I'll, I'll pass. Land for turn. I'll cast the Nelvish Arch Druid. No, oh, I was afraid <laughs> so of that. Other elves I control get plus one, plus one. And then I add a green for each elf I control. Uh, I'll gain a life from that and move to combat the elk will come at you carlos and the Customary. essence warden will come at you Murray. it's only two two right now right a three three. Oh wait because that oh Look. yeah because i don't have this lord it's coming at me isn't it dana yeah no blocks daddy be grateful you're not taking five all right my go yep okay Let's see what we can do draw a card um i'm gonna play a crag crown pathway as the red side. I will go ahead and play a Gruen Outlaw. This is a 2-2 two, two first strike human know. rogue werewolf. So this is one of the original werewolves. So this one transforms when there's a turn that passes and no spells were cast on that turn. But it turns into a 3-3 three, three double strike and makes it so all werewolves can only be blocked by two or more creatures. But with that, Marie, I will pass the turn. Your turn hey, Marie. untap. Upkeep draw. I will just play this other planes. I'll tap two and play Talisman of Dominance <laughs> and pass. That's all most of us are doing at the beginning, anyways, is some yeah. kind of ramp or things if possible. Except Dana's doing all kinds of stuff, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, geez. I need like what? Three lands and I'm good. Okay. I'll play an animal sanctuary. It gives me colorless and I can tap two and tap it to put a plus one, plus one counter on a dog or a cat. Dana, you've been attacking me and that uh, arch druid is a little too scary. So I'm going to crib swap it. So you get a one, one elf. Actually, you get a one, one all creature types. You get a one, one fairy, a one, one werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, you're not giving me a good reason to not just straight up kill you. But you started by attacking me, just saying. I didn't attack you with the extra three that I could have. That's true, but you attacked me first and then also later. But so I wasn't I wasn't planning on attacking you that last day. Oh, well, if you don't attack me now, we might have an understanding. We can see. I'm done after that. Realmwalker, Trigger, Essence Warden, and Gain a Light. Uh, I'll name elves. Carlos, yep. I'll attack you for three. Yep, I'll take it. I'll play a tapped Tranquil Thicket. And then I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Um, draw for turn. I'm just going to play Tovalar. Whenever a wolf or werewolf I control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. On my upkeep, if I have three or more wolves or werewolves, then I can transform any number of human werewolves I control. Then I will go to combat and swing my 2-2 two -two Gruen Outlaw. How big is the Realm Walker? It's a 2-3. And how big's yours, um, Marie? It's a two-one. If you decide to block, typically a two-one and a two-two would trade, and they'd both die. But because mine has first strike, only yours would die. At this point, because it's commander and we have so much life, it's probably better for you to 
just take the damage instead of blocking. But it's up to you. Yeah, I'll take two. Um, I will draw from Tovalar's ability. I'll be sad that I still didn't get any land I wanted, but at least I do also have a Tranquil Thicket that I can play. Um, I will pass turn after that. Untap. Keep draw. I'll play Terramorphic Expanse. So then I'll sacrifice it. Island. So I'll tap it for blue. These three. And play my commander. Flying Death Touch Lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus zero. Whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, create a one one blue fairy creature token with flying. Oh, so uh, dice, I need to get some dice. dice. Yeah. I think she's done. Okay. You tap. Keep. Draw. Exotic Orchard. And I'm going to cast my commander, Rin and Siri. I'm going to gain a life from that. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Whenever I cast a dog, I get a 1-1 one, one green cat creature token. Whenever I cast cat spell, I create a 1-1 one, one white dog creature token. And then I can spend red, green, and white and tap it. And it deals damage equal to the number of dogs I control to it, any target. And I gain life equal to the number of cats I control. And it's with that, I'm done. Really good. Yeah. The damage part is going to be a little scary. I'm going to cast... Jagged Scar Archers from the top of my library. I'll gain a life, and its power and toughness are equal to the number of elves I control. And then I can tap it, and it deals damage equal to its power to target creature with flying. I'll pass. Alrighty, untap our card. You don't have good attacks to anybody. Well, I might have some tricks. So well, you might. You guys are gonna just have to decide if I'm bluffing or not. There's, I'm, I'm just in a bad spot no matter what, but my options are I'm afraid of flyers just because I can't do anything about them. I'm also afraid of direct damage killing my cool werewolves. Yeah, I'm actually going to send a both at Adam. And because you're sending both at me, I can't stop you from drawing either way. So I think given that, I am going to take it. I hope that one of these two is a land. I'm going to play Nature's Lore. Go get a basic. Oh, I can't get a basic mountain. I have to get at least a forest. So that's the only downside. But now I have two basics. Um, so when I play my Cinder Glade, they'll come in untapped. Then I will play a Lightning Greaves. Then I will play a Arbor Elf. And I'll equip the Arbor Elf with Lightning Greaves. Tap it. Untap a forest. And then I will play a Wolf Bitten Captive. Um, that I can pay two to give it plus two plus two. Then I will equip Tovalar. Lightning Greaves means that he can't be targeted, and that will be my turn. Um, ten. Draw for turn. Play a Dark Car Wastes. Flying for turn. Tap blue, and okay, this is the four, and cast Reflections of Lit Jara. I love that card. Uh, as Reflections of Lajara enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Um, so, fairies. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. Copy of the permanent spell becomes a token. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. One one fairy with a plus one plus one counter yep. that gets plus one plus <laughs> zero due to a Layla. Help. So it's a three two um, at the moment. Dane is probably the biggest threat given that she can kill your flyers. What are your things at? You you could basically just with your commander is what I would attack with. And she's at three four now. All right, I'll take three. Pasting. Why do I feel everyone else like I just have a single creature here? Probably because you're bad at this game. Whoa. Really, Dana? Yep. Shots Not fired. Not with me around. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna cast cultivate which allows me to search my library for two basic land cards. I'll get a forest and I'll get this. Spend three mana and cast Bramaz, King of Oreskos. So this is a three, four cat soldier. And I gain a two life. Yes, because I'm going to create a dog. Thanks to my commander. Say go. It would be really annoying. No, the game just flat out. Would I know. That's really annoying. <laughs> All right. Look at the top card. I'm probably going to play I arguably the favorite card of my deck and one oh. of my favorite additions, Mr. Remain. So she does a lot, but I'll do her first plus. So search for Nissa's Chosen and gain another life. Uh, I'll pass. All right, I am going to my upkeep. 
In which case, I have three wolves or werewolves. Comes night, and I also will transform all of these. So this one is a 3-3 double strike, and it gives all my guys menace. The Crawlin Horde Killer is a 2-2 that I can pay 4 to give it plus 4 plus 4. With that, I will draw for turn. All right, I'm going to play this. This is going to put me on the map, so to speak. Oh, boy. Five mana for a Wolfier Silverheart. Someone has Soulbound, and it says, As long as Wolfier Silverheart is paired with another creature, each of those creatures get plus four plus four. I'm going to pair wow. my Terror of the Cruin Pass and my Wolfier Silverheart. Yep. I will then put Lightning Greaves on my Wolfier Silverheart, and then I will attack. I will warn everybody that I do have two mana available effectively, which would allow me to give plus zero plus and trample to any wolf except for the silver heart. So I'm sending my seven seven double strike menace at you, Dana. I'm gonna send my two two menace at Marie, and I'm gonna send my eight eight at uh, Adam. And I'll send my Tovalar, it's a 4-4, four, four, at Marie. Uh, no blocks. All right, I, I think we should try and block stuff if we can. Dana, yours might be Yeah, mine fruitless. is, yeah, my, mine, I would lose, I would just straight up lose two creatures. I'll block the 2-2. Two, two. I'm, I'm thinking it might make sense for you to block the Tovalar. Oh, yeah. I think for Marie. Just two in general. I think for Marie, blocking isn't huge for you. If you block, you only have a Layla left over, which is probably going to get shot by those yeah. elves. And you'd have no creatures. I'll just take that's a, it. That's a good point. So she could drop, only six, right? Well, you could drop, double block the 2-2 two, two and only lose one of your creatures. You, you, if, oh. you basically, if you want, I, your Mimic would die okay. to trade with this one if you want. It'd be basically like blocking with this one and then it dies well he probably this one's he probably fine i, I get to decide the where the thing. damage goes oh you get to choose the attacker yeah uh -oh. so i would kill your your better one your metallic mimic so well, but um i don't have a ton of stuff but so i'm just gonna take it you're gonna take it huh i'm gonna chance it and i'm kind of getting low anyway it can become trample i'm gonna it throw it can't be all because three i have shroud. Of my creatures all in front of it when your Brahma's blocks, you make a cat. And I do make another cat. Block, and I gain a life from that cat. Yeah, my one trick I can't do because he has Shroud. It is what it is. Um, I will send four at each uh, Rin and Brumez. I draw my one card first. Now the, da uh, the rest of the damage will be dealt. Um, I'll draw one more, two, three. So three more cards. I'll play a Kessig Wolf Run. And I'm going to play an Outland Liberator. Um, I will equip it. Well, no, I'm going to equip Tovalar with Lightning Greaves. Pass the turn. Untap, drop a turn, tap the blue, then cycle the Lonely Sandbar. Dark Heart. I'll tap two and just play this Talisman of Progress. I get a life. No, I just attack. And a fairy. Okay. You could attack with a fairy unless you want I have blockers. One, I have two fairies now. I think at least tacking with um, your commander because it does commander damage. What? It's lifelink. Um, I do have menace stuff, and they also have other creatures, okay. but... I'll just attack with her. She's a 3-4. I take three, and I take three oh, commander yeah. damage. And pass turn. All right. Carlos is, like, the biggest immediate turn threat. I don't know if I can swing out as often in, in moving forward. We'll see. So I'm just going to play an Arcane Signet, which gives me some mana, and I will recast Rin and Sari, and I will say go. Okay. I will play an Elvish Vanguard. That will trigger Essence Warden. I'll gain a life. I'll play uh, uh, two more. I'll play a Thornwield Archer. It's a 2-1 Reach and Death Touch. That will trigger my Elvish Vanguard, because it's an elf. And then I'll gain a life because of Essence oh, Warden. Did you gain a life for Rin and Steri, Dana? No, I did not. <coughs> and then I will plus the Nissa in order to gain two life for each elf. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to gain a total of 14 life. Jeez. Dana is a long term threat. I think you're a short term threat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a threat now because I'm my deck's more aggressive. Um, are you attacking, Dana? Nope. All right, I will flip my Outland Liberator. Draw for turn. I feel like the crackback is starting to get real from those those elves. Um, maybe I do just need to have like a epic elf werewolf battle this turn. <laughs> yeah. Although she could just take it basically and gain all the life back. It's, 
Yay. Pretty, pretty rough. Well, the, the, take her the... life gaining things then, right? Um, yeah. yeah, if I go at Nissa, I think maybe she'll block. Don't you dare go at Nissa. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the weakness uh-huh. is bad. Um, I'll play a wooded foothills and crack it for life. I'll just get a mountain. I'm going to cast Wolfkin Outcast. Cost six, but that says this spell costs two less to cast if you control a wolf or a werewolf. Pay these four instead. And this one is um, more draw power. Whenever this or another wolf or werewolf dies, I draw a card. Let's throw Lightning Greaves on it. So your biggest thing right now is how big, Dana? Seven, seven. Okay, so these two are going at Nyssa. These two are going at your face, Dana. This one's going at you, Marie. On attacks, this one triggers. I will shoot your blue enchantment, Marie. We're, we're I'm gonna past... block the fifth one. Okay. Uh, with Jagged Scar Archers and the Nissa's Chosen. I'll block the Stormwald Archer and my 1-1 one, one change lang on the killer. So, I'm sorry. And then, Marie, if, are you blocked in the 3-3? Yep. Oh, I, I took it. Yeah, because you lose two fairies. I'll, I'll just point it. out that by leaving it alive, it can do the same thing again and attack and kill another That's ancient true. door artifact. Oh. Yeah, if you block with both fairies, I have a choice to kill your fairies or to sacrifice this to kill one more artifact or enchantment, and your fairies don't die if that's the case. It probably is worth it for you to block. All right. I'm going to change my like. blocks a little bit because I realized if I block with the archers, it will still die because it shrinks. So instead of blocking with that, Is that I'll three? block with the elk. All right. Here's my big trick. We're just going for it. I'm going to tap this for red. Would have been a good bluff. And I'm also going to tap my arbor elf to untap it. It's a forest. And get another red. So double red. I'm going to play ember cleave. Are you going to hate me forever, Dana, if I kill your uh, Nissa? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Don't let her intimidate you, Carlos. Let's that see. Ember Cleave comes off the board and kills Nyssa. On my turn, the Ember Cleave is dead. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. I think I'm going to be the big bad wolf and put this on my killer here. Double strike damage. I'll do you three to your face, and then I do three damage to the death touch creature. No, two damage to your creatures and one to Nyssa. And then regular, and so I draw a card. Regular damage. Fairies will die. One, my, only one of the fairies. Uh, how big are they? Three twos? You're right. You're yeah, right. Three. All right. I'll kill a fairy. You take another seven to the face, Dana. Four commander damage. And then three damage is dealt to Nissa. And then your six, my six and five Nissa dies. Is dead. And so and I will Nissa draw. Nissa did good work, Dana. She did amazing work. She did the work, and now I have an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, two of my guys die, so I do draw from the Wolfkin <laughs> Outcast. Pass the turn, discard a bunch of lands. Have to recast it on your turn. Two. Cast Quickling. I gain a life. Untap. So and, then, the, and then hold on, the mimic the artifact is, back to your is hand, in your though. hand, Marie. Oh, yes. Draw for turn. Play Watery Grave for land. For turn two. Play the metallic mimic again. Trigger Alila, so you make a fairy, and I gain. Oh, I'm used to on the other thing. Then I'll tap this and play Naxok Cleek. It's a one-four flying creature, and I can pay one and a blue. Untap it. And <laughs> target opponent removes the top card from his or her library from the game till end of turn. You may play that card. Your things are really oh, but they're tapped. I can do nothing. I'm wide open. I'd always at least attack with your commander because of lifelink. Quickling and yep. commander. Yep. And then I gain three. Oh, our colors is actually getting low. I'm telling you. And pass All right. Did you cast two spells, Marie? So, uh, yes. Daytime. I'm going to cast Lion Sash, which is a cat. I get a dog. Get- we'll do the anti token. Oh, cute. I'm going to cast Kit Canto. What does that one do? I'm going to get a three with- life. It basically, it's a 3-3, three, three, and when it enters, I get a 1-1 one, one citizen. And at the beginning of each combat, I can tap two creatures, and then I can target an opponent's creature to give it plus two, plus, or I can target any creature, sorry, to give it plus two, plus two, and it has to attack um, and can't attack me. Carlos, I still kind of owe you from uh, taking out a lot of my creatures there. But that was mutual. You you killed that, you know? Well, I don't know. I I'm that, not yeah. the one that chose do, that. Do what you got to do. I've accepted um, I'm gonna my fate. Attack you with uh, 
Rin and Sari. Your cat, you have a 1-1 one -one cat, and it has vigilance, so it can attack freely. That, oh, that's right, that one has vigilance. Yeah, Five damage. Rin and Sari and the cat are Eight. coming at you, Carlos. No blocks. That will be it. Retribution, here it comes. Nykthos, shine to Nyx. Oh god. Oh jeez. I'll tap the Nykthos, I'll get five mana. I will use three of it to play oh, an Elvish Champion. Forest Walk, what is this? You have no blockers anyway. Do the remaining mana and one. I will play Imperious Perfect. Oh, so god. I'll get plus one plus one and I can spend the green mana and tap it to make a one one. That'll trigger Elvish Vanguard, it will get bigger. I will gain a life up to 59. And then I will move to combat. So, Carlos, these three, which is exactly 18. All right, I'm gonna throw a beast within at your big guy. You get a 3-3 beast, and how much remaining damage is there? 10, and pester. I'll acknowledge you're not the threat, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't regret my choices. The, the wolves, we don't live long lives, we live Ferociously, though. All right, I'll flip all my guys over. I'm gonna draw, play a Muta Vault, which is all the things. This sort of pays for itself in a way. So I'll play a Bindhorn Elves, and I'll give it Lightning I Greaves. Gain a I'm going out with the bang at least. I'm gonna play the the Werewolf Mother, Averbrook Caretaker. She says she's a six-six hexproof. All my other permanents have hexproof. Beginning of combat on my turn, put two, like, two one one counters on each creature I control. We will give her haste and shroud. All right, we'll go to combat. We're just having a grudge match at this point. So, <laughs> Dana, I'm throwing it all your way. Hold on, don't you get two plus one plus one counters on each oh, creature? Yes. So 10 double strike, or, or 20, effectively, and 14 regular. So total damage... 34 damage. I'll take 34. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I do have one last thing before damage. I'm going to flash in a Night Pack Ambusher. Yeah, after blocks. It is an extra 6 damage. Yep. So I take 40 down to 22, but I gain a life, so I go down to 23. I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards. Six. And discard 2 lands. And that is my turn. Okay, untap. Draw for turn. I'll just and play this Bajuka Bog for land for turn. We'll do Adams then. Okay. Well, in response, I'm going to exile this Bramaz with Lion Sash so I can get the counter out of it. Oh, does Lion Sash <laughs> let you do it to any graveyard? Yes. Um, it's how, many basically how many creatures do you have in your graveyard, though, Dana? It's permanent. I have four. You might choose Dana so that Adam doesn't get as many options with the Lion Sash. But. Can I change that when? Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay, I'll exile two per two permanents from Dana's graveyard in response. Yeah. You guys are still gonna fight each other to the I, death. I only have one blocker, <laughs> and I bet you Dana's gonna kill me minimum with Forest Walk. So I just think you attack one of them. Then maybe I'll go for the second highest life. Okay, so if you're going to combat, I'm going to use Kit Cantor's ability and tap two creatures. I'm giving uh, your Metallic Mimic plus two plus two and trample, and it has to attack somebody other than me. I'll attack Alayla at you. I will, and then will take it. Maybe I'll just do the Metallic at Dana. I'll block with a beast token. Um, I would okay, attack with your um, flying thing too. And I'll send the Naxaw at you. You can um, exile one of our top cards of our libraries and maybe play it. Unfortunately, you do have to have the colors to play it, though. Yeah, I don't have green. You could probably There's white. maybe play some white cats or maybe... Let's do Adam's. It's white main lion. And that's not great because... Or you can just not cast it. It's only a 2-2. Two -two, so. Yeah, you don't have to cast it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just gone. Pass turn. And here... I'm going to cast Fabian, Boss's Confidant. I'm going to get a dog. So I'm Fabian is at 3-6, and then creature tokens I control have haste. And at the beginning of combat on my turn, each player reveals the top card of their library. For each land card, I get a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen token. For each non-land, my creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And then everybody draws a card. I'm going to go to combat, so everybody reveals, myself Beast included. Beast of uh, Titania. I have non-land. Non-land as well. Is it discarded? 
And then everyone, no, we all draw that card. Oh. So all my stuff has plus three, plus three. Marie, all my tokens are coming at you. How much is that? Oh, this is Vigilance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four, 28. Three, five. Exactly. Three, five. For yeah. sure. We'll block. Block with these two, and then they die. So, so then if you block three eight. things, that's 16 damage. 16 damage. That you take. With that, I am done. The dog's just chomping on the fairies. All right, Dana. We know you want to finish Carlos off. Arboral, trigger, get alive. Dana, if you don't attack me, I won't attack you this turn. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll Dana, send remember it all Nissa. at your opponents. All at your opponents. Dana, remember <laughs> Nissa. Path of Ancestry tapped. Then I'll tap Nyxos for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I'll Hold use on. three of it. Or Lana War Visionary. So I have four mana floating. I draw a card. My Vanguard gets a counter. And I gain a life. And then I'll use three of it, so I have one floating for Titania's Chosen. My Vanguard will get a counter, and I'll gain a life. Use the one floating, I'll cast Priest of Titania. Trigger Titania's Growth, it will get a counter. Oh boy. Trigger the Elvish Vanguard, it will get a counter, and I will gain a life. And then I'll send the Elvish Vanguard at you, Carlos. What else do you have there? Imperius Perfect. Champion and Essence Warden. That you, should, you should send your Forest yeah. Walk stuff. At, I'm going to uh, tap two, and oh. I'm going to make the uh, Realm Walker attack. Vanguard yeah, I mean. comes at you, Daddy, and Essence Warden at you, Carlos. Alrighty. I'm dead. Uh, How big wait, the Vanguard? No, it's more than six. Oh, wait, I don't need to swing the Essence Warden. The Realm Walker is six. I'll take the 11. I'm done. Nissa avenged. Um, draw for turn. I'm going to cycle the secluded step and draw another card. And you bounce the six There's cost eight. guy. Okay. Swollen by the Fae. Which one is that? Last so you're going to bounce the beam? Yeah. Yeah. You get six fairies. I am going to tap these. I'm going to force her fourth oh, to attack right. Dana. That's right. And it's a six five trample flyer. I think six. six. Yeah. Oh, and you made six creatures, so I just gained six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, last turn. Okay, at the end of turn, I'm going to use Rin and Sari. Five dogs I have, and four cats. Then I'm shooting Elvish Champion, I think. Well, because if you don't, you die. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to recast for Bean. I'll get another dog. I gain two. I'll, I'll go to combat. We'll each reveal. Ambush Commander. Ginny Fay. Hypnotic Sprite. So Jeez. my stuff gets plus three plus three. Marie, I think I have to go at you here because I can't block those fairies. Same thing as before, seven, four, fours. So 28 total oh, damage oh. and Rin can do how much damage to the face? Six. Uh, six. You block with three fairies and three of them will die. One will bounce off. One will die from Alayla. You'll, wait, you'll gain three or four? Three. Uh, you block five of them? I block... You block five, five of them and gain, yeah. And four. No, nope, you and block three. five creatures. Eight. Take eight. And but gain, gain three. three. So take five net going yep. to 17. Yep. So Valela's blocking. My Vigilance Cat Soldier will die. The three, five, or whatever is blocking. So that just bounces. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, that's it for my turn. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of <laughs> options, you know, because if, if you get too low to threaten like a kill, you could die to either one of them from the crackback. So. I will play a land for turn. I'll cast an ambush commander. So all my forests are also 1-1 one, one elves. Path of Ancestry will trigger. So I'll scry one. Uh, I'm keeping it on top. I already know what it is. That will trigger this. It will get a counter. My elvish vanguard will get a counter. And I will gain a life. I will tap a forest and the leaf can visionary to activate Nectos for 8, 9, 10. Mana, I will use three of it to cast Verdian Joiner, trigger the Chosen, trigger Vanguard, trigger Essence Warden. I have seven floating. I'll use four of it for a drove of the elves. Trigger, trigger, trigger the Essence Warden. I'll use the remaining three to cast a Rex Age, trigger the Vanguard. Uh, trigger the Chosen, and I'll gain another life. I assume my Lion Sash is going bye-bye. Yes. Move to combat. I'm going to tap 
Kit Canto and Fabine and your big vanguard has to attack Marie. And then the Titania's chosen will go at you, Daddy. I mm. am going to block with the dog. And then my Elvish Vanguard is 17-17 with Trample. Block Cute. with Alayla and click. Prevent 9 damage. And, and the Death Toucher will kill the creature. Isn't Alayla dead? Because it blocked a 4-4? Four, four? The tokens um, are 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, Layla's dead. Uh, 5. Okay, so you take 12, go to 5. You go to 5, Marie? Yeah. Um, well, you're right. You don't. You want to be out of range with from the Ren. And yeah, Sari. you're you're in range of Ren and Sari. Yeah, you need to block with a token as well. There's one. Yeah. Last turn. Last turn. One tap. Wrath of God. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, draw for turn. Play this island. And then I guess I'll just play the Soul Ring. It's not very exciting. Two. There's Cloud Cedar. Two. For hypnotic Sprite. I gain uh, two life. No, we'll replay your oh, commander yeah. first. Uh -huh. I think she's huh? one mana. No, yeah, she, you yeah. need to tap Assault differently. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How about uh, the one that sent the 17, uh, 17 trampler? Yeah. Of course, I made her do it. <laughs> you just don't attack. <laughs> oh, it doesn't me. matter. Like, don't attack. I'm going to die, though. You're not their biggest threat, it, it, you know. Yeah, so we're, they we're, wouldn't we're, come we're, at me at all. We are going at each other. But. Yeah. That's true. Just sit here. Just sit, yeah, sit back with all your blockers. Pass turn. At the end of turn, Dan, I'm shooting Leaf Crown Visionary. Uh, Lana War Visionary. Oh, I thought you said you had a Leaf Crown Visionary. No. I no, okay, hold on. Then I'll do Realm Walker, and I'll gain three. I'll do Jenny Faye, which sadly does not generate anything. In a life. And then I am going to do a Mask Vandal. I gain three in life, okay. and then my Elvish Vanguard gets a counter. Yep, a cat and a dog. Titania's chosen also gets two counters. Yeah. And we'll do Yoshimaru, and I'll get it. Actually, sorry. So now, though, if I get a cat and a dog, I'm going to get some 3 1 dogs, which means I get to use the other Annie token, Dana. Yay! I am going. Yoshimaru, I gain another two lives. Yes, you do. Okay, I'm going to go to combat. So we each reveal again. Forest. Pasali Pride Mate, so non land. Non so land. Good. I get one, and these are plus two, plus two. And then, Dana, all my things are coming at you. Seven, three threes, and. Three six fours. Well, one of the six fours with my drove of elves. One of the dogs, and then I'll block a three three with my three three. Top priest, top perfect. I make an a token. elf. I gain a life. The drove of elves blocks the six four. Rex sage will block a three three. So one of the three threes dies. Do you want to kill a dog or a cat? Uh, oh, dog. Oh, jeez, what a okay. choice. Oof. All right, I got a fourteen. And. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, I'm going to play a land for turn. I'll use Nykthos to make 11 mana. I have 8 floating. I'll cast the Zuri. Um, okay, hold on. I might have a response to that. I'm going to activate Rin and Sari. And... I'll tap Priest to Titania. So 16 plus 8 is 24. Okay, well, I'm going to target the Ambush Commander. 7 damage. All right, also both of these will get a counter. Now Zuri's in play. I'm going to use 20 of the mana. Tap this for 25. I'll activate Zuri five times. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. Everything gets plus. I didn't real. I didn't realize the second ability on that was sack an elf target creature gets plus three plus three until end of the turn. Oh, I didn't even do that. Oh, you didn't even care. Oh, okay. I just did a Zuri. You gave everything a bunch. Yeah, you really had too much with trampling. So it's uh, three I times five. Use Guardian for Liner to make every to make even more mana after its power had gotten bigger and then i would have been able to use that to make everything even more bigger but that was too much math and it's way past my bedtime <laughs> awesome we got wow. there nice. yeah well my werewolves were scary and they got some good damage in but i had a feeling that dana and her elves were gonna take it we we were giving her a little bit too much uh leeway there but uh she did a great job and uh congrats on the win overall had a blast it was a great uh group and uh especially marie you did a great job and uh thanks for all you do as one of our editors if you want to support us, the easiest way is to like this video. And if you're at this point in the video and you haven't subscribed, why not? Just click the button right now.
go ahead, subscribe. It's easy and it really does make a difference. Uh, as we grow in, in numbers as a community, there's so much more that we can do there. Uh, it does help us to potentially get some sponsors in the future. Lastly, if you want to support us directly, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. It's only $2 a month and you get access to our Discord, tournaments, giveaways, a bunch more. I really think it'll be worth your time if you enjoy our vibe and our, our group of players. Um, we're all there, we're active, and we'd love to see you there. A big shout out to our two king patrons, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. We also have some awesome samurai patrons, Chandler Carlisle, Chris Crowley, Jason Garner, John McManus, Matias Salazar, Morton Christensen, and Revolution Gaming. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Thanks so much as always for watching. It really means a lot to me. We hope you enjoyed and remember, keep it nerdy. Yeah, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> We're not giving that. <laughs>